for Zimbabweans uh, living in the diaspora seeking investment opportunities for the future are apps, uh, the best option for investment securities that they seek. Piggy Bank Advisor is one option that promises to provide access to a wide range of investment opportunities across different asset classes, carefully curated by a team of experts to secure maximum returns. So we're joined by the founder and CEO of Piggy Bank Advisor, uh, Batsanai Matsika. Batsanai, good morning to you. Thank you. Or I think it's good afternoon in, in Zimbabwe. Thanks for joining us. Um, so, you know, it, is this, as you, with your background as an investment banker, you've led, you know, research teams in your career. What uh, prompted you to head in this, this area of tech to create this app for investments? Okay, so it's really about um, information. But at the end of the day, you want to invest in uh, assets or projects that you know, you understand. So there was need to create um, a one-stop shop platform that then profiles some of the investment opportunities, mostly alternative investment um, and, uh, um, options uh, that are available. But over and above that, why we've packaged it as an app is that it allows for the formation of what we are calling social investment groups or just investment clubs where two or more people can co-invest pool resources and actually um you know uh, direct them towards a particular uh, project business venture or even uh, asset is this primarily aimed at zimbabweans in the diaspora or can anyone use the app to seek out these investments Yes, so anyone, uh, even locals here in Zimbabwe that wants to, to invest in, uh, in particular projects, they have access. But we've carefully packaged it to allow for those in the diaspora, because what we've uh, uh, actually you know, discovered is that there's a lot of um, remittances. Zimbabwe is getting uh, on an on a annual basis uh, roughly around $2 billion. United States dollars uh, from uh, people in the diaspora. And most of that money is going towards consumption and things like that. So we want to direct, you know, uh, those funds towards uh, projects, towards uh, investment opportunities, so that it will then go towards the broader economic development in Zimbabwe. Uh, what kind of investment options are available? Can one invest in any market uh, around the world with any particular security or are there limitations? Okay, so our focus uh, really is, is quite broad. So uh, we're basically looking at alternative uh, investments. Uh, so you know that traditional assets uh, would be uh, sort of your, your, your stock markets, uh, your properties and things like that. But we're going a step further to, to look at you know, different opportunities within the the, the Zimbabwean uh, space. So we, we, we can look at, you know, uh, commodities, we're also uh, packaging things around, you know, private companies, uh, logistics and things like that. So we're quite broad in terms of our approach, but we are curating opportunities that really maximize returns uh, and offer, you know, an opportunity for anyone, anywhere really to, to, to invest in some of the exciting projects in Zimbabwe. What kind of regulatory approval uh, did you get for the, app, for the app? I mean, would you need approval from the authorities in Zimbabwe and then outside wherever the investments, if you're sourcing for investments overseas? Okay, so we are using a concept called crowd investing, which, uh, you know, in other jurisdictions would uh, be a, a collective investment scheme, right? So, so that's the approach. So, so the, the manner that we, we are packaging uh, those, those products is that we're working through uh, a licensed uh, you know investment management business here in Zimbabwe is called Pepos Vunani Asset Management, where we package all these opportunities under a fund, and then we pull investors to then co-invest, um, you know, in the various you know, you know investment opportunities. So yes, we 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 we, we the, the, the the structure is regulated you know uh, here in Zimbabwe because it's a it's a collective uh, investment scheme. Okay, so speak. Okay, so just so if you're crowd, if that's crowd, crowd funding, crowd investing, right? How would dividends yeah. be paid out? Is it proportional to what is invested in that particular security? Yes. So we we unitize uh, most of these opportunities, but so by the end of the day, we break down um, a, a large project into smaller units. So it just depends with the show holding uh, in in the particular project. So you you get a share. Uh, no, that's not determined by the amount of units that you hold. 
What, what do you say to people who are wary of using digital apps to invest because of you know, safety issues like hacking or whatever? Okay, so yeah, I think the, the trend is that, you know, in terms of investing, um, we, we're seeing this online revolution, the internet of things and things like that. So yes, you know, that's where we're headed. But of course, you know, everyone has to do their own uh, due diligence in terms of, you know, the security um, thereof. But what we've also then done with Piggy Bank Advisor is that to ensure that the payments and things like that, they follow a normal KYC procedure that's run through the asset management business. And also the payments happen outside the app. So within the app, what we're doing really is to uh, profile the opportunities. So you have access to the opportunity. You can also have access to the ad advisor, you know, uh, you know running you know, the, the investment and also the aspect of um, putting together social networks. So that is happening on the app, but the payments uh, and other KYC can always happen uh, outside the, the application. All right, look, we, we've had you on the show, you know, numerous times to talk about inflation in Zimbabwe. We've had you to talk about the currency. When you put those two metrics together, as far as where inflation is, which is rising, and the currency that's had its own issues, is investing overseas a, a must in terms of trying to shore up purchasing power for the average Zimbabwean? Yes. So what we, we, we encourage is the diversification of portfolios, right? So another focus area um, that's also profiled within the app is international real estate, where we are profiling some opportunities um, or fractional ownership opportunities in in countries such as you know, uh, maybe major cities such as Dubai and even London. So yes, we're encouraging locals. We're also encouraging those in the diaspora to to diversify their portfolio. But within Zimbabwe. There are certain, you know, projects, certain ventures that we were curating that we believe that, you know, could offer a, a steady or, or decent uh, return on investment, despite you know, the, the inflationary pressures. All right. So, I mean, is this the future of investing? And if so, what happens to traditional brick and mortar investment outfits? Are they forced to evolve? Yes. Uh, uh, as I like to, I mean, we're seeing a revolution. Um, from uh, an internet of things uh, point of view. So yes, the brick and mortar you know, companies would then have to incorporate you know, uh, technology within their models. I think what we're doing as Piggy Bank Advisor is to sort of offer that, you know, that missing link to say, let's plug in within the existing framework of um, or asset management businesses and offer something that you no know, people can use uh, easily to, to invest uh, in different uh, asset classes. Going forward, uh, what, what role do you think artificial intelligence like OpenAI, Google's BARD and so on will play in investing uh, in the future? I think, you know, the, 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 there's been a trend, especially in the investment advisory business, where we're seeing the rise of, you know, AI or robo-advisors, right? So it will then assist you know, uh, investment managers to, to, to then have access to, to information um, and also probably focus on other complex you know, tasks. Uh, for example, in the area of research, uh, you know, in the area of you know, uh, just uh, compliance, there, there's a role that's, that's being played with, with AI. So yes, you know, the, these you know, uh, evolutions uh, uh, would have a, a strong impact. Um, on the investment management business. Um, and I think that, you know, um, players should then adopt, you know, IT uh, and this revolution so that they, they, they remain competitive um, in the new uh, digital world. So what, what, what are your plans as far as the company? So you're, you've launched already. Um, what are you going to use the rest of this year to do? Are you going to introduce more securities in the new year or next year rather? Or what are the plans? Okay, so we, we, we are you know, packaging a number of opportunities uh, across different asset classes. We're looking at international real estate. We're even looking at art uh, investment opportunities. So we, we're going to be rolling out a lot of products, uh, but uh, our drive also is to, to, to you know, ensure that there's adoption of the app, uh, increasing the penetration of the app uh, within Zimbabwe and even outside. So we want to reach out to the diaspora community in the UK, South Africa, USA, and all over the world uh, so that, you know, um, we, we get more numbers and people to, to invest uh, in Zimbabwean opportunities.
But I actually meant to, meant to ask you this earlier, so let me get the opportunity now. We still have like a minute to go. Is this for seasoned investors, or are beginners going to be taken through a how-to? What, what, what's the level of sophistication for usage of the app? Okay, so another value proposition uh, is that you know the app enables you to interface with a, a qualified advisor, right? So even if you are a beginner or you just want to, to get more insights, more information, you then have access to a qualified investment advisor that will hold your hand in terms of taking you through the, the various opportunities and also it's just giving you the advice, the insights uh, behind you know, the, the various uh, projects that we've packaged. So it's for everyone really, uh, whether you're beginning or you are a seasoned uh, investor. You mentioned uh, commodities, of course, Zimbabwe, of course, you know, exports, commodity heavy. What about cryptocurrencies? Are you uh, going to dabble in that as well or not? Yes, so we're watching the crypto space uh, because in terms of the regulatory framework, uh, we're not quite there in, uh, from, from a Zimbabwean perspective. But this is an area that we, we are we're looking at, uh, things such as cryptos, uh, NFTs. I think it's an exciting trend. Uh, from a global perspective, but we also then have to look at the local uh, regulatory framework. So it's something that we are working on uh, in terms of just doing research and uh, exploring uh, some avenues. Batanai Matsika, founder, CEO, Piggy Bank uh, advisor. Uh, congratulations on the new venture, and thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today. Really appreciate it.